Hey everyone, it's Mike here, Global Voodoo, and this video is going to be somewhat long, but I want to dedicate some time here to talk to you about the eBay Spring Seller Update, and I want to give you some of my opinions on this, and uh, please respect that, you know, that these are my opinions on what's going on with eBay, and I'm going to go into detail about this, but I'm going to read off to you right now just the information on this, okay, so you can understand where I'm going to go with this, okay? Um, so eBay put together this spring seller update that they, they, they're processing now with all the sellers they have on their website, and uh, I'm just gonna read it from here. This summer, seller performance standards are being updated to reward those sellers most responsible for keeping buyers in eBay. Starting with the regular scheduled monthly seller evaluation on August 20th, a new measurement, your transaction defect rate will replace the current four detailed seller rating requirements used to evaluate your seller performance, okay? Uh, your defect rate is simply the percentage of a transaction over the most recent valuation period with one or more of the top predictors that a buyer will leave eBay or purchase less, such as opened eBay money back guaranteed case, a return because the item wasn't as described or negative or neutral feedback. Okay, so they're, they're, they're implementing to you. Here's our new rules. Okay, but then they say here, the, the good news for you, since you're a seller, as of the last seller evaluation, February 20th, 20th, your defect rate is project to meet the new 5% maximum expected of eBay sellers with the new standards take effect on August 20th. Okay, a low defect rate is important because it indicates that your buyers consistently receive the, the item they expect when they expect it. Buyers won't see your defect rate, but in general, the lower your defect rate, the better your position is in best match search results. So it's well worth the effort to lower it even more. Okay, then they say, I encourage you to get familiar with the new performance standards, especially the tips for maintaining a low defect rate. And this came from Michael Jones, the vice president of merchant development for eBay. Now, I've got some concerns here about this, and you guys should too, especially if you're an eBay seller. All right, here's my background on eBay. I started selling on eBay when they first started, and uh, it started as a community where people got together to buy and resell, okay? They buy, sell, that's what it was, and it just grew. You know, it was the world's first online flea market is really what it was. And I enjoyed my stay there. It was a great spot for me as a beginning reseller to make money on. But as time grew with my business, you know, I learned really, really fast the game of eBay. And um, it's gotten worse in my eyes and I've seen it just go downhill. So I stepped out of this game a long time ago and just developed my own ways to sell, all right? I currently don't sell on eBay through my name or my business names. I do sell through a wholesale network where there are sellers out there that sell my products, okay? And I can just tell you from my experience with my wholesale program that a lot of these um, sellers, the numbers are dipping, okay? The numbers are dipping on, on eBay. They, they have been for a while. The traffic is, 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 is still there. There's still buyers on eBay. I'm not saying, yeah, hey, you can't sell anything on there. But the standards they have put for sellers now is just out of control. It really is. It's out of control. It's like they're squeezing you, okay? They're not even looking at the average person, the medium person, or even a large full-scale business owner. They don't care, okay? And if they cared, they wouldn't squeeze. See, eBay right now is designed for buyers. That's all eBay wants, right? They, they, they need to understand what has made them so big is that the sellers with the fees, right? You know, buyers aren't paying fees, are they? Buyers are buying a product. So you have to understand that. They're, they're sitting here now when they're in a position where their back's in the corner because Amazon is destroying them. Amazon is physically destroying them and they're reaching. And their way of thanking you as a seller is to say, hey, you're doing a great job, Bob, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna squeeze you tighter, okay? So God forbid anybody who's now in this uh, defect rate. This is the difference, guys, which you need to understand, is this defect rate has been put in place just like a lot of the things they've been putting in place you know, over the course of five years. They are throttling you, okay? If you're in that and you're, you see, you could be a top rated, you could be their best seller, all right? But the buyer has full control. The buyer has full control over everything. The buyer can destroy you. You could be a great seller. You can follow all the rules, all right? And you can sell an item. 
and you did everything right, and the item works, the item's perfect, and then you have what's known as just a shitty buyer because they had a bad day or they got a miserable life, and they can destroy you. They can leave you low DSRs for no reason. They can say whatever the hell they want to say in the feedback, and nobody's going to do anything for you. Now, obviously, if some, you know, there's guidelines with feedback to get feedback removed, but in general, a buyer can destroy your seller account. So reading this here, I just, I, I'm just looking at this and I'm not, I'm not saying, hey, you know, I'm afraid of this or anything like that. I'm just saying this is just getting ridiculous, right? And that they're putting themselves in a corner where they're trying to compete with Amazon, okay? And if you're an online seller right now and you're not selling on Amazon, you really need to start looking into it because it's just, the opportunities are there. It's, it's like eBay was years ago with the demand for products. There's customers, there's people that, you know, they're buying things and you get the money. How many times have you had buyers on eBay buy something from you? You never heard from them. You gotta open a dispute, you gotta wait 10 days or whatever the process is. It's called wasting time. And this is really what eBay is doing right now is wasting time, all right? There's a video if you wanna go check it out. It's um, on eBay through their center here. Uh, I don't have the direct link, it's an event. But Brian Burke, who is the uh, director of eBay Global Trust, I watched the video and I gotta say, right, really, really, truly watch the video and understand exactly what he's saying. Because, um, you know, he's pretty much saying that they want buyers to be to be happy for them to stay on eBay. So they understand, they have the data, they understand the buyers are leaving and the sellers are leaving too, right? eBay is a newbie program for a seller, all right? And if you utilize eBay to what it's worth, you can make a lot of money at it, even as an advanced seller. But when, when you hear somebody like Brian Burke actually sit there and say, you know, what buyers want, um, you know, is a good experience, you know, and they want this, they want that. What they need to do, and Brian Burke, if you're listening, you need to put in place a program for buyers. You need to put restrictions on buyers. Why is any buyer can just sign up for eBay and buy something and, you know, create havoc, right? And you're gonna say to me, Mike, how can they regulate that? They could, they could easily regulate a buyer just like they regulate a seller, but they refuse to do so. That is the problem with eBay. That's how some people are just so fed up with eBay. They're going, you know what? I'm tired of getting these negative feedbacks and these low DSRs. And you know what, sometimes it's competition, guys. Comp your competition is knocking you down, right? So, you know, they're trying to do everything like Amazon. The extended holiday returns. Now, now you gotta do that with eBay. So if you're a thrifter, all right, or you, you know you have a buyer that's remorseful, right? Or you get a buyer that's just going to use you. They're going to use you even more now. Come Christmas time, they could buy something in November, all right? Use it, play with it, do whatever with it, wear it, and then return it three months down the road. That's outrageous. That is outrageous, especially if you're selling any type of clothing, <laughs> all right? Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stress here more on what Brian Burke with uh, eBay was talking about. Okay, so the low DSRs. So, and this is for item as described. You know, you're gonna get banged, you know, for DSRs one, two, and now three. Now three, okay? You're gonna get banged on negative and neutral. How many times have you guys had somebody who leaves a neutral comment and it's just like, where did that come from out of left field? Sometimes you get positive comments in neutral. And I think the biggest problem with all this is that there's so many newbies, there's so many people, there's so many people that are uneducated about eBay. There's so many uneducated buyers out there. Go look at the feedbacks, guys, of what you're getting. Half these people can't even spell, all right? And, and they're so busy with their life and they're, they're on their phones and bloop, they just hit whatever. And, uh, you know, they're just hitting things. They don't care, they don't take the time. But what they really do, these, what I've noticed with these buyers, it's people that are under 100 feedback are causing the problems. You know, unless it's something truly wrong when you sold something to somebody, the people that are at 500, 1,000, the people that have been on there for a while, they understand that, right? Okay? It's the people that have five feedback, 10 feedback, and they just randomly leave this, and that can destroy your business on eBay, okay? Um, you know, returns, you know, obviously, yeah, if you're selling on eBay and you're not offering returns, you have to, okay? That's, that's the one good thing here. Um, the ship time, you know, they're gonna count you as a defect if it's one DSR, okay? What if you ship out the next day? 
you know, or the same day. You see what I'm saying? You got to understand that they're just giving these are another these are more excuses. These are more implemented programs for eBay to tell you as a seller we own you and these are our customers not yours. Okay? I am telling you guys there's going to be so much uproar with this with people and trust me you might be sitting right now laughing going I'm top rated I'm whatever. You're going to get banged. I'm telling you you're going to get knocked down. I'm telling you. You know, if you're a seller now and you're cancel uh, an order, you're penalized, which you should be, really. I do agree with that. And then the money back guarantee program. Okay. That's, if you know what, that's part of business. Somebody returns something, they're not happy with it or something of that nature, just give them their money back, get the item back. Now, we can develop and go further into that with, with scammers. That's what I'm saying. eBay needs to put together a program for buyers, an approval process, right? And have guidelines for them. There's none right now that I know of. Maybe you can enlighten me. But they, that's the problem here. And they're throttling not just new sellers, they're throttling everybody unless you meet this criteria, this top rated stuff and you could sell all day long. Guys, if you're sitting here right now and you think, man, I'm not getting views on stuff. Or man, I, you know, I've had this item out here, it's got a great price, it usually moves quick. They're throttling. They are taking control of the buyers out there by basically not showing your listing to them. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? You're not even on the playing field at this point. You see what I'm saying? And this is where this becomes an issue. So anybody who sells on eBay is now penalized, okay, if they do not go through this process. And if, God forbid, your defect rate goes up, you are screwed, you know? This is just, this is crazy, guys. So understand what I'm telling you. You know, they're throttling you. Why would you want to sell on eBay if you're throttled? Get over the fact, guys, sometimes with, with, I need to sell on eBay. That's how I make all my money. If that's where you're at, you've put all your eggs in one basket, you're going to have an issue. I'm telling you, you're going to have an issue. I've been down that road. I've been down that road, and I've just moved my businesses all over the place. I don't have all my eggs in one basket. Nobody should, okay? So they're going to do all these evaluations, all right? I mean, think about this, guys. Think about what they are doing to an, you as an eBay seller. They're squeezing you. You have a regulation here. And, I mean, my gosh. They might as well start drug testing you, right? <laughs> right? Drug testing. They went, next thing they're going to say to you, um, how many kids do you have? Do you have health insurance? I mean, they're going to start drilling you. This is bullshit, guys. I'm telling you. Stand up for it. Um, but anyway, I mean, I'm just giving you my, my thoughts. I'm kind of riled up with it all. Um, you know, then they go on and say, this is how you can not, this is how you can prevent getting all this high defect rates, right? This is just hilarious. Keep perfect listings, okay? So what they mean by that is great photos, right? Great photos, great service, great description, um, great communication, stuff like that. But what if you do all that and you still get a low or a high defect rate? Can you call them and say, hey, you know, um, I did all this. You know, what happened here? They don't care because all they care about is the buyers, okay? So they're telling you this is what you need to do, but it's all bullshit. I'm being straight up with you guys. You know, create great listings. And then here's the best one here. Keep just, they say, keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep, keep putting out more. Keep putting out more stock, more inventory. Yeah, they want more money. Do you understand? Please listen to me. They, they are trying to tell you, listen, we're gonna penalize you. You're not. You have nothing to do with it. And we, you know what? This is how you get better. This is how you can prevent that. Just keep listing more. <laughs> think about it. Th really, truly, think about that. Then they're telling you, you know, ship it and, and and offer tracking numbers to people. Yeah, you should be doing that anyway if you're a seller. If you're not, not shipping out in the time frame, that's your own fault. Consistency, right? Any business person, you know, if you're not consistent, exactly, you're gonna be pen you're gonna be penalized, right? I mean, this is basics here. They're not telling you, I mean, they're, they're telling you we're putting this into effect now. All this new mandatory regulations, right, or these, we're going to spank you here. And I'm telling you, once you get the spanking from eBay, it's going to be hard to get out. You know, it's going to be hard to get in the circle again. But that circle, it may be like this big right now. It's going to get like this. Then it's going to get like this. And then it's going to be like this. And all of us, I'm telling you, all of us or anybody who's selling on, Amazon, on eBay, it's just, you're going to be in this pile here. We're all gonna be fighting to sell things, but we're all throttled. 
while they let the people, the privileged, sell. Okay? Trust me, there's somebody sitting here listening right now and they're saying, well, just it's that it's simple. I'm so good and I never get any negative feedback or any neutral. I'm perfect. Watch. Just watch. I'm telling you. This is going to happen. So um, this is going to lead me on to this, guys. Um, you know, like I said, they no longer care for you as a seller. They don't even care for you as a person. They don't care if you have a multi-billion dollar operation. All right? They are losing buyers left and right. They are losing sellers. All right? They, they are just... They cannot compete with Amazon, and they understand this. And time will tell. I mean, look at the numbers, guys, out there. Look at their stock. Look at everything going on. Go look at, I mean, message boards that are out there. Go look at the people complaining about eBay. And you tell me if I'm wrong. You know, they, the problem is here, this is a whole marketing ploy to get buyers back. The problem is buyers left because it's, just, it's ridiculous over on eBay as a, as a buyer, right? But again, it goes back to my, my saying, you have to implement regulations for buyers. There has got to be some approval process, right? Because you can't let buyers run around like the Wild West with their guns out while all of us sellers are sitting here owning our saloons and we tell you, you can't come in our bar with no guns. And buyers can walk in there with guns and are shooting them off. See what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Um, they're, basically, they're enforcing this. They're enforcing these, and there's nothing you can do about it. You have to understand this, right? You have to understand this. It's about buyers. And there's so many problems with these buyers, like I mentioned. Feedback. They, they can lo leave low DSRs. They can say items that it's described. There's so much they have control over, all right? With my websites, if there's a problem, you know, they could do whatever they want to to an extent but they're not gonna take advantage of me. But I also have nobody to sit there that's gonna spank me, because it's my own. And this is where I'm gonna get to, guys, where if you're selling on eBay right now, I am telling you the best thing you can do if you're selling niche items, similar type items, is to do this and do this quick if you're not doing it. Create a Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and start promoting you, because that's you. it's your business, right? It's your work. You're putting the work in. So understand that. Promote your buyers that you're getting off eBay to another location. Start developing another website. Create things, right? Sell on Facebook. Do something. Because I'm telling you, you're going to have some issues. And you've got to build. If you want to grow as a business person, who, how many people? Raise your hand. Who wants to have a website? Who would love to have and not pay fees to eBay? Go ahead. Raise your hand. I can't see you, but raise your hand. Everybody should be raising their hand. So that's what I'm saying. Look at these. Self-promote your business. Get away from eBay if you can. Now, don't get me wrong. You can make great money on eBay selling and doing this, but I'm telling you there's problems ahead. There's been problems for a long time. The road is not smooth over there. It's bumpy as all hell. And you just need to prepare yourself as a business owner to start looking at other opportunities, right? Now, why Amazon? This isn't just for me to make this video to say, hey, well, now you need to go sell on Amazon, like I've been telling people. You know, it's just, I'm just reading this because this is news and it's data. And I'm just giving you some examples here of why it's really, it's better to sell on eBay or on, on, on not on eBay and Amazon. You know, Amazon, you're going to sell items faster, right? Now, the biggest thing with eBay and Amazon is there's different products for different sites, right? And you have to understand that. But if you start doing the FBA program with, with Amazon, you can eliminate shipping, customer service, and you're going to free up some time, guys, all right? As a seller, what, who wouldn't want that, you know? That's the, be it's the best program around, without a doubt, and, the, and they allow you to have time to go out and source more product, to buy more product, to send more to them. If you've been an eBay seller, you know how long it takes to list items, right? You know, especially if it's just stuff you're getting at thrift stores. How many really could you put up in a week on eBay? 300? 100? 50? I don't know. I know that you can do 10 times more than that on Amazon. You know, and that's the thing, is your time. You value your time. And, um, you know, just don't, just understand this, that if Amazon, if you're not on there right now, go take a look. But the biggest thing here is, is control. And if you're a business owner, don't you want to be in control to some extent? Right? If you're a business owner right now, you're, you're in the driver's seat. You're driving the car. All right, you're driving the car. But if you're working with eBay with this, you're not even in the car. 
You see what I'm saying? You're not even in the car. They're driving. You're chasing behind there. Hey, hey, hold on. This guy left me a low DSR. They're in their Ferraris and Mercedes Benzes driving down the road or in their, their Lear jets, and you're sitting there trying to catch up to them to ask them, well, how, how do I do this? What do I got to do? Or you listen to me. You know, I got I to gotta tell you why this happened. They don't care. So <clears throat> truly understand what I'm saying here, guys, that, um, you know, I want to hear your opinions. <clears throat> Put them down below and, and say what you think about all this because I just this is just another regulation, another type of, uh, like I said, the squeezing from eBay. They're going to squeeze you. And uh, I hope that you guys that are smarter out there that understand what's happening, you know, start looking to do the right things, right? And, and I think we are. I think, I think people that are understand this, they've moved on. They, I mean, I know people, sellers, they've moved on, they own four or five websites and just destroying it. You know, and they're selling on Amazon, doing a lot of things. eBay's days um, are not numbered. They're gonna be around for a while, but I'm telling you, if you're a seller out there, it's, 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 a, it's a big, big fish bowl, right? And there's a lot of fish in there. And um, there's gonna be some sharks and you're just gonna be that little minnow. And right now they're putting everybody, everybody's about to be a minnow, guys. So um, that's my quick little rant on this uh, eBay spring seller update. I do hope that at some point, you know, somebody can talk to this Michael Jones and Brian Burke, because this is just, this is nonsense. And Brian Burke, I'll tell you what, you gotta go watch this video. I mean, for somebody who is the director of eBay Global Trust, I mean, the guy looked terrified in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, just, did not look professional at all. And it's not somebody that I would want in my company, right? I just, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to bash you, Brian, but it's just, you know, it, it, more preparation, I think, is what was needed. And um, maybe re more reassurance when you're staring in front of a camera to your customers, which is the sellers, right? Just didn't, didn't go through with me. Didn't, make, didn't want to make me go, well, let me go get my, my uh, let me go open my eBay account back up. No. It just made me even solidify more that I'm done with eBay on my personal level. I do wholesale through there, but for me personally, this was just another perfect example of why I will not sell on eBay under my name. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up, if not, down, whatever. Um, you know, if, if you wanna look at some more information on reselling in general, you can visit my website, pickforprofit.com. It is a paid subscription-based website where you can learn about uh, how to sell on Amazon. Uh, there's bolos on there, lots of videos, tutorials, um, the membership also includes uh, to, uh, two Facebook groups, Pick for Profit and Resellers Roundtable. Um, if you're not looking to do all that, you can join the Resellers Roundtable group. It's a Facebook group. It's $5 a month or $40 a year. It's growing and uh, a lot of information in there, guys. A lot of people are, it's just, that's the community, guys. This is where it's at, <laughs> right? I'm sorry. If you want free information and keep getting free information, hey, that's great, all right? But if you want to be a part of a team, a community that of people that are, are out here doing this for real and we're making money and we want to keep certain information from the public, right? Or we're finding items and we're going, you know what? Hey, uh, you know, uh, we want to protect our information. We're making money at this. This is the group, you know? This is, this is a group. It's a group of some really great people that are in there. And uh, I want to thank every one of you guys that have personally signed up for Resource Roundtable and Pick for Profit. Um, it's been overwhelming, and I really appreciate the response. Uh, but, you know, guys, this is just my, me summing up the Spring Seller update. And um, hopefully you guys understood what I was saying here. But I'm out of here, guys. Till next time, peace.